Hi everyone. My name is Irma. I am currently um, sitting on the ground in the jungle of Ubud, Bali in Indonesia. And it is March 15th, uh, 2020. Um, I've been out here for uh, close to three weeks, just having um, commenced a beautiful immersive retreat with uh, a group called Women Wellness, where a bunch of ladies from 15 different countries gathered, and uh, we did a lot of healing work for our wombs and our feminine energy. And there was so much amazing um, transformation that happened within all of us. Um, I happen to be the oldest one in the group, uh, yet that doesn't mean that um, I didn't have a lot of work to do and that um, and that I didn't have a lot to learn um, because both of those things were really true. And I was happy to have been able to really be welcomed in the community and allow, um, be allowed to have the permission to be in my own um, sort of space and on my journey of um, healing. And it really just brought up a lot of um, information that had been stored deep, deep, deep in my body. Um, all the way tracing back to my early childhood and some um, events and assaults and occurrences that had happened in my life that I had never really fully processed or dealt with. And so the types of things that we did in coming together in a women's circle and sort of the magic that we infused was absolutely incredible. Um, one of the things that was hugely important as we worked through so much energy was for us to come back to neutrality by connecting with um, the earth energy, um, specifically Pachamama, Mother Earth. And um, I've posted videos before about the beauty of being in nature and also all of the natural healing effects. Um, and today I realize I'm actually, it's my day that I'm supposed to be flying home. My flight's already been rerouted uh, at least once. So I'm hoping that my plans still continue. However, um, I do realize that the reason why these changes are happening is because this so-called declared state of emergency um, with a virus that is going around and I know that because of that, many of you are at home, uh, either self-quarantined or um, required to be quarantined. And um, if that's the case, then you might not have the opportunity to connect with nature um, as you would like in this time. So I'm recording this for you now. So hopefully with the sounds that you can hear of the animals around me, there's a rushing river below. Um, there's an occasional breeze that flows through and the beautiful greenery that is all around in um, this jungle, this natural wild jungle, that this um, video give you the opportunity to recall or call in the energy of earth, the healing energy of nature, and as you can imagine yourself immersed in this beauty of life, of green growth um, and transformation, may this be part of your healing in, in terms of tuning into your own body, determining what is real for you um, during these times. What does your body really need and how can you serve that in the best manner um, by tuning into your own self rather than listening only to what others around you are prescribing for you. Um, the most neutral way to connect with this truth of your own unique journey is, um, is, is by tuning in and also by getting into the, or coming into the neutrality of earth energy. So um, maybe I can lead you through a short meditation um, to help you with the with the connection of this, um, what I will invite you to do is wherever it is that you are, just find yourself um, in a steady position, whether you're standing or you might be seated. And if it's comfortable for you, you can um, either close the eyes or just soften the gaze so that you can 
uh, minimize the external environment and tune your awareness inward. And once you've done that, one way to go deeper is to notice your breath. Your breath as the conduit of life prana that comes into your body and um, provides you with your own life force. And breathe deeply in through the nose, absorbing the life force, imagining it coming freshly um, released from these trees that provide the oxygen for us to breathe on a regular basis. And with every exhale, imagine that you can collect up any toxins or stagnant energy in your body and release those out into the space around you. And if you have plants in your home, or if you can imagine being in the jungle or a forest or a park, those plants will absorb that information and then transform it and transmute it back into um, life force energy. So taking a few deep breaths, allow this cycle of breathing sort of be a cleaning out of your internal system, bringing in new, fresh life force energy and releasing that which doesn't serve you. As you're in your mind's eye, connected with your breath, you can even imagine um, what a place like this would look like for you. What are the colors of the greens that are around you? What is the color of the earth? What are the other senses that you can turn on, like the smell of the dirt, um, the moisture in the air of the water and the rivers and the rain, the soft breeze on your skin, the heat from the sun, which apparently, I, from what I understand, um, the virus doesn't like the sun. So get yourself into the rays as much as you can, close to your windowsills, um, whatever it might take uh, for you to really tune in and determine what is best for you in this moment. So from this beautiful, natural, wild jungle in Ubud, um, I am signing off and wishing you ciao baby. Um, I will be making my way home and am bringing back so much magic that I am ready to share with the world and that I am ready to share um, also specifically to anyone who is looking to heal their feminine energy. Um, so if you'd like to uh, see some of my previous videos and maybe kind of notice um, my past recordings and some of the journey that I've taken along the way, my, you can find me on my YouTube channel at Juntas on This Earth and also my website is uh, Juntas, X-U-N-T-A-S, Chicago.com. Ciao, baby.